Hey guys, it's Liz from Blue and Hazel. Welcome back to my homeschool channel. Today's video, I wanna do a flip through for you of Math with Confidence 4. Um, so I will give you a look inside of the brand new teacher's guide here, and it comes with two student workbooks. Um, that should last one full year of math. And so um, this was sent to me graciously by Kate Snow. She has um, developed this curriculum and is continuing to write it all the way up through grade six. So you can expect it to go up that high. Unfortunately, there will be no levels after that, but we just love it. I have used it with my daughter since uh, she was in first grade. So this is her fourth year um, doing math with confidence. We're using it with my younger son who is going into second. And my older son has to use something else. He's too old for the oldest level, but too young for the pilot program. And so um, we're using something else with him. If you're interested in um, any of the other levels of Math with Confidence, be sure to check the link in my description. I will leave a link to my other Math with Confidence videos. So I've typically done a flip through if you just wanna see the inside pages of each of the different grades. Then I also like to do a year end review. So I just posted our third grade Math with Confidence review and that just kind of goes over how it went. like what I liked about it, what I'd like to see different, how it went for my daughter. And so be sure to check that out if you want a more detailed, you know, how did this uh, curriculum go actually using it. But as for the flip through, I'll go ahead and turn the camera around and we can take a look inside. One thing I did want to mention is it has a very similar vibe to Math with Confidence 3. So there were some changes from second grade to third grade that you may have noticed, or if you're new and you're not familiar with it, in third grade, they went from one student book to two student books, um, you know, part A for the first half of the year, part B for the second half of the year. Same vibe and same style for the level four. And so you can expect two workbooks, part A for the first half, part B for the second half. Each of them will have eight units inside and there's going to be 144 lessons total for you to kind of divide between the whole year however you would like. So um, Kate has some suggestions in the book um, based on if you're doing a four day week or a five day week. She also has suggestions based on if you're doing the enrichment lessons or not. So you can decide to do them and usually they're more hands-on practical application of math with a math book. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend buying any of those math books if you can find them on YouTube as read alouds or if you can find them at your library, you'll save a lot of money, but it is a fun way that Kate just gives you kind of some extra material if you want to bring math to life in a different way. All right, let's turn the camera around and take a look inside. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look inside of book A and I'll show you book B and then we will briefly open this instructor's guide so that you can see how a lesson and goes along with the instructor's guide and how they kind of flow together. You really can't just use these without the instructor's guide. It just doesn't work, um, which you'll see here in a minute. Okay, so beginning at the table of contents, you'll notice right away eight units in book A. There's eight units in book B as well. And each one of those um, units is gonna have a different number of lessons inside of it. And unit one is pretty much review of third grade math with confidence. So, um, you know, no worries if you if your child has forgotten some of those math facts, this is going to kind of cover and begin where they left off. Then we're gonna have place value in larger numbers. And um, from what it sounds like, this grade four is going to take a lot of the skills they learned last year and teach them with those multiplication and division skills, how to apply them towards larger numbers. Um, and so then we'll have mental multiplication. Kate does an amazing job at teaching kids how to do mental math, and I can't wait to see how that applies to these um, larger numbers. Fractions and mixed numbers, mental division, area and perimeter. Um, this was touched on last year, so I'm sure this will be expanding. And written multiplication part one, angles. So I'm just going to kind of page through until we get to unit two, and then I will pause and show you an example of how these pages are formatted, but this will give you just, I don't know, hopefully get you excited about the layout of the pages and the color and the sim just simplicity of how it's laid out. So right here, you'll see 1.6. That would be the sixth day of unit one, seventh day of unit one. And I just think the pages look really inviting and not overly stuffed or crowded and also um, just friendly. Like there's games and activities and practice problems. Right, so here we have unit two one 
And so the general format you'll see every single day with this is that you're going to have um, three pages, just like in grade three, you'll have lesson activities with these little two people up here, which shows you that that's a parent child thing. This whole uh, first page is going to come from um, inside of the instructor's guide. So you need the instructor's guide for that first page every single day. And there will be A, activity A, activity B, and activity C. Okay, so what that looks like over here in the instructor's guide, um, which I will not be going through this whole thing, it follows a very similar flow and I can explain briefly kind of more what you can expect in this in a little bit. But for just the point of this lesson, you'll have 2-1 right here, lesson 2-1 in your instructor's guide and you'll have this activity A right here, which is actually part of the warm up. Um, so you'll be doing that together and it will tell you in your instructor's guide in bold exactly what to say and anything in italics will be possible answers from your child and, and anything in gray is just information that might be handy for you to know. So you go ahead and do this from the instructor's guide, then you'll have part B right here which is going to be further down in your instructor's guide. Looks like um, part B would be right there and that would correspond with B here. And then you'd have to go to part C together and that's going to be play um, close to 3000. So here we have the game and this is going to um, have instructions right here with a picture of how to set it up and there's lots of pictures which I really really appreciate. So every single day you'll have that first page together from the instructor's guide and the visuals are all right there on the paper. And then you flip to the second of the three pages they'll do that day. And this is always going to have practice of what you learned. This is independent. Your child should be able to take this book to the table and go do this on their own after you've done this. And so they work through that one page. Then that third page is called review. And you can see the little picture of one person, one person that shows you that they have to do that on their own or should be at least trying to do that on their own. And that third page will always be review. So this is kind of a spiral review. And so that third page will be review and then you'll flip to the next day, which will be um, unit two, lesson two. And then again, you'll have one, two, three for that day and a new lesson. Same format here. You'll have to flip to the um, lesson two, two, round three digit numbers to any place. And you will have activity A, which corresponds to activity A. After activity A, then you'll have activity B here, which is going to be right here in your instructor's guide with instructions how to play rounding four in a row right here. Then the second page of their three that day will be um, practicing the skills they just learned. And the third page will be a spiral review of previous things that they've learned. So um, that will follow the format the whole way through. And then let me just go ahead and kind of flip through some of these gorgeous pages. Um, I just, I don't know, I just love this curriculum because I think every single day there's something fun. There's also ways that you can simplify it. We definitely simplify this when we feel like, okay, we are doing well in an area. We can skip some of these um, warm up questions or we can go faster through some of this or even possibly cross out a little section if it's just too easy for your child um, and at the same time if you need more practice then you can go over some of those same games again and um, I just find it to be really really nice amount of work so you kind of see um, book A carries that same format of three pages per day. It has those beautiful, colorful um, pages in there. And then we will go ahead and flip through book B really fast so that you can kind of see inside. Here's the table of contents where we begin unit nine with length. Then we have long division, geometry, equivalent fractions, written multiplication, part two, decimals, time, weight, capacity, and line plots and averages. So one thing that you can expect from this curriculum is that it will be on grade level. And so by the end of the year, um, your child will have learned what they need to know for their grade level and they should, you know, be able to take a test in, um, and, and know what 
the test is expecting them to know, I think. Um, so it's not considered advanced. If you're looking for something that's extra challenging, then you might need to um, either supplement or choose possibly a different curriculum. And at times this can be a little bit hard for kids who just kind of want to do math on their own because there is a component of having to do this with mom. Um, one thing I wanted to mention that I really like that I'm seeing in here is just the grid space. So um, as the kids are working with larger numbers, I really appreciate having, um, having how she has places to write down those numbers in. I don't know if you can see that there, but there's just grid space to kind of keep your numbers straight. And um, we did not have that with my older son's math actually in Singapore math. And so we ended up having to print out graph paper for him just because his numbers were getting a little crazy. Um, so this is really, really nice. And um, all right, so you have kind of the vibe and the feel of how this, this um, is laid out and how it's colorful, how many problems to a page, and I think it's very inviting to the kids. So what you can expect over here in the instructor's guide, beyond what I just kind of told you how a lesson goes with the um, student workbooks is that you'll have an introduction. If you've never used Math with Confidence before, I highly recommend reading this introduction. It's very helpful. Um, and then beyond that, it's going to give you some scheduling ideas based on if you wanna use those enrichment um, lessons that they have in there, which are just fun, like real world math situations. And then also, um, whether or not you're going to do four or five days a week. There's also going to be a materials list in here. Um, what you'll need for manipulatives, it's actually pretty simple this year. Um, some counters. We oftentimes just use our base 10 counters and some extra like beans or some, some other small thing if you have. You'll also need some money and I printed these off for free on a government website and so I will leave the link for that in the description. Um, you'll need a couple decks of playing cards, but I've actually been able to just kind of use some of these cards that we've created in Math with Confidence um, on our own. And so these are blank playing cards and we just kind of created the numbers that we needed for previous years. But um, in addition to that, you'll need a ruler and you'll need some of these pattern blocks. And um, they do have printouts in the back if you don't want to buy any pattern blocks, but I just really love these. And my kids play with them outside of math. So um, we have pattern blocks and they're going to use those a lot with fractions, it looks like. And then also a protractor, which I don't have here and need to buy, and pencil and paper. So um, yeah, it's a pretty simple list actually. There's a few extra things if you do the enrichments that you might need. And then what you'll see is a kind of overview of each unit. So unit one is going to have an overview of what your child should know, what the lessons will be, and um, just some little snippets also for um, parents at the bottom, which can be helpful in just teaching like how it's normal for your child to forget math if they haven't, um, you know, done that in a while. Here would be like the end checkpoint list of what your child should know and what they need to have mastered versus not mastered. And then you have kind of an overview of unit two here, which is going to be um, similar with um, what they'll learn, what lessons they're doing, anything extra that you might need for the enrichment lesson, and then um, a little snippet of advice for the parent here. How commas help children understand large numbers. So and then what you'll see is similar to what I showed you earlier, which is where you will have the um, warm up and it'll tell you what to say in bold. And then you'll have um, what the child might say would be in italics. Then you'll have the activities and how to teach. So you really don't need to know how to do this math. You can learn along with your child. It tells you what to say, but feel free to deviate from the script if you prefer. And if you feel comfortable teaching that because, um, because you can, but if you don't, this is very, very teacher friendly. Um, and then you're following along through, and this would go alongside the student book here again. So you have activity A with picture of how, how it's set up in the book. Then you have activity B with picture of how it's set up in the book and activity C with directions to play the game. Boom, you're done. It's, I would consider this the meat and potatoes of the program. It really just is so important to have this out every single day. 
Um, feel free to skip things if you feel like your child knows them well and it's, you know, not necessarily helpful review or something, but in general, it's gonna follow that same format all the way through to the end. Okay, a couple things I do wanna mention is that there's gonna be an answer key at the back of every unit. And I think this is gonna come in handy, especially this year because um, the math is just getting harder and it's harder for me to keep up mental math with what they're doing, um, you know, as they get older. And so I think that we will actually utilize these answer keys more. And the last thing I wanted to show you in the back is going to be um, what's included at the very, very back. Ah, if I can get to it. Um, things to review as far as like questions to ask your kids, um, just memory work that you can go over once in a while. So what do we call the result when we add numbers together? What do we call the result when we subtract a number from another number? The difference, um, you know. In the back, there are some other helpful things like um, a full materials list and that that's a little bit like you might need some of these things once or twice and some of these are actually just used with the enrichment lessons which are optional and Kate said that there's a little um, star next to those ones so don't fret about having the materials um, to be able to do that math and then we have black line masters in the back and so these are really helpful just um, reference sheets and multiplication chart. This is something that we used in third grade and it was very helpful. And then we also have place value chart. If you don't have one, this would work in the back. Here's a degree wheel. I'm assuming that's going to be learned in there. And then we have just a few more pages in the back that you will be using for the lessons. Okay, All right, that wraps up this video. I hope this was helpful for you. And if you did enjoy it, thank you for leaving a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you do want to see more homeschool videos. Um, I try to post updates on what we're doing regularly. So um, if that interests you, I'd love to have you follow along. And thank you for watching. Also, leave me any questions in the comments and I'd be happy to get back to you as best I can. We love, love, love this curriculum and I'm just so thankful that it's made math um, a joy to teach my kids and not a stressor point for my kids using this math.